So with all of this uh, property prosperity, this economic prosperity that Australia is enjoying, there is one group of people who are looking in at the property market thinking, can we play the game too? And of course, I'm talking about the first home buyer. And they're finding it increasingly difficult to get their foot on the ladder. Because let's think about what's going on for them. They, they in the early part of their career, they're building up their income and they're frantically trying to save for a deposit. But let's be honest, that's a very slow process because to get enough money to be able to get on the property ladder can take years to actually do. So the first challenge they face is getting that uh, initial deposit in place. But the second part of that, and it's an extension of, of saving for a deposit, is property prices are growing at such an, uh, you know, an incredible rate, in, particularly in some of the bigger cities, that the time it's taking them to save, they're being discouraged by the fact that property prices are growing at a very much faster pace than they can actually put the money away. So they've got to save for a deposit, but they've also got these increasing prices. And then the third challenge for the first home owner is they're probably the most neglected sector of the market because a first uh, or sort of an upgrade or another owner occupier could probably have some money set aside to get a buyer's agent to help them or an investor has some resources set aside to get a buyer's agent to help them. But the poor old first home buyer doesn't have that luxury because every cent matters to them. And if they're trying to put every cent towards their deposit, there's nothing left over. So they're often on their own. So what I'd suggest to the first homeowners is they need to think a little bit outside of the square. Because the first thing is they may not be able to actually live in the first property they buy. They might have to go and buy a one bedroom flat in South Yarra or in Bulimba or in South Perth or wherever they live, just go and buy a smaller uh, property that's potentially not their dream home, just so they can get on the ladder and put a tenant in so that they're effectively rent vesters. They're not actually living it in themselves, but at least they're on the ladder and they can enjoy the benefit of that growth. The other thing they can think about is if they've got a great relationship with their family, their parents, their cousin, their sister, their auntie, they could go and approach them and say, can I use some of your equity as leverage for me to use as a deposit so that I can get onto the property ladder sooner? And we all know that that could mean I could buy it today rather than waiting six or seven years down the track. So that's a very, very good way to do it. The other thing to think about is if you want to get some like-minded people together, pull your resources, pull your savings and pull your income and buy a property together, that could actually mean that you can get on sooner as well. But of course, you've got to balance that with the fact that some of the very best friendships have been undone by creating a business relationship. So you've got to go in that with a, a very open mind. And of course, there's lots of first homeowners grants that are available from state governments to encourage you to buy uh, your first home, particularly if it's brand new. So there are a few things. So it's all not all doom and gloom for first home buyers. But what I would say to the market at large, and of course to the first homeowners, is circumstances have changed. As I said at the top, 25 years of economic prosperity. I grew up in the 70s, it was just assumed that the great Australian dream would be for everyone, that you could buy your own home. But going forward in the new millennium, it may just be the case that there are a generation of people who don't own real estate, and they may be long-term tenants. And so my suggestion to the first homeowner is just to embrace that, because it has some beautiful lifestyle um, bonuses that can come with the flexibility of not being tied down to a mortgage in a particular location. But for those of you who are burning to get on the property ladder as a first home buyer, I'd suggest you explore some of those uh, opportunities I talked about before. And for those of you who don't have that burn to get on the ladder, it's about being peaceful and just coming to terms with the fact that you may be one of those people that's just a long-term tenant.